Question 1. Which Cisco Collaboration SaaS offering is primarily designed for conducting virtual meetings, webinars, and online training sessions? A. WebEx Meetings B. WebEx Teams C. WebEx Calling D. WebEx Contact Center The correct answer is A. WebEx Meetings Explanation WebEx Meetings is a Cisco collaboration software as a service SaaS, offering primarily designed for conducting virtual meetings, webinars, and online training sessions. It provides features such as video conferencing, screen sharing, recording, chat, and integration with productivity tools to facilitate remote collaboration among participants from different locations. Question 2. Which component of Cisco's cloud collaboration architecture is responsible for ensuring secure and efficient data transmission between users and cloud services? A. Data centers. B. Networking infrastructure. C. Security protocols. D. Scalability mechanisms. The correct answer is B. Networking infrastructure. Explanation. Networking infrastructure plays a crucial role in Cisco's cloud collaboration architecture by facilitating secure and efficient data transmission between users and cloud services. This infrastructure includes routers, switches, firewalls, and other networking devices that ensure connectivity, performance, and reliability. Question 3. In Cisco's cloud collaboration architecture, what ensures the ability to accommodate increasing user demand without sacrificing performance or reliability? A. Data centers. B. Networking infrastructure. C. Security protocols. D. Scalability mechanisms. The correct answer is D. Scalability mechanisms. Explanation. Scalability mechanisms in Cisco's cloud collaboration architecture ensure the ability to accommodate increasing user demand without sacrificing performance or reliability. These mechanisms include technologies such as load balancing, auto-scaling, and distributed computing, which dynamically allocate resources based on workload demands. Question 4. Which Cisco Collaboration SaaS offering is focused on team collaboration, messaging, file sharing, and virtual workspaces? A. WebEx Meetings B. WebEx Teams C. WebEx Calling D. WebEx Contact Center. The correct answer is B. WebEx Teams. Explanation. WebEx Teams is a Cisco collaboration software as a service, SaaS, offering focused on team collaboration, messaging, file sharing, and virtual workspaces. It provides features such as persistent chat rooms, document sharing, whiteboarding, task management, and integration with third-party applications to enhance productivity and communication within Teams. Question 5. Which aspect of Cisco's cloud collaboration architecture focuses on safeguarding data integrity and confidentiality within the cloud environment? A. Data centers. B. Networking infrastructure. C. Security protocols. D. Scalability mechanisms. The correct answer is C. Security protocols. Explanation. Security protocols in Cisco's cloud collaboration architecture focus on safeguarding data integrity and confidentiality within the cloud environment. These protocols include encryption, authentication, access control, and intrusion detection mechanisms that protect data from unauthorized access, manipulation, and disclosure. Question 6. Which Cisco Collaboration SaaS offering is designed for omni-channel customer engagement, analytics, and integration with collaboration tools? A. WebEx Meetings B. WebEx Teams C. WebEx Calling D. WebEx Contact Center The correct answer is D. WebEx Contact Center Explanation WebEx Contact Center is a Cisco collaboration software as a service SaaS, offering designed for omni-channel customer engagement, analytics, and integration with collaboration tools. It enables organizations to deliver personalized customer experiences across multiple communication channels, including voice, chat, email, and social media, 
while leveraging data analytics to optimize performance and drive business outcomes. Question 7. What component of Cisco's cloud collaboration architecture provides the physical and virtual infrastructure to host cloud services and applications? A. Data centers. B. Networking infrastructure. C. Security protocols. D. Scalability mechanisms. The correct answer is A. Data centers. Explanation. Data centers in Cisco's cloud collaboration architecture provide the physical and virtual infrastructure to host cloud services and applications. These facilities include servers, storage systems, networking equipment, and other hardware components necessary to support cloud computing environments. While networking infrastructure enables data transmission, security protocols protect data integrity, and scalability mechanisms support resource allocation. Question 8. Which Cisco Collaboration SaaS offering provides cloud-based PBX features, call management, voicemail, and integration with other collaboration tools? A. WebEx Meetings B. WebEx Teams C. WebEx Calling D. WebEx Contact Center The correct answer is C. WebEx Calling Explanation WebEx Calling is a Cisco collaboration software as a service SaaS, offering that provides cloud-based PBX features, call management, voicemail, and integration with other collaboration tools. It allows organizations to replace traditional phone systems with a cloud-based solution, enabling users to make and receive calls using the internet and access advanced calling features from any device. Question 9. Which element of Cisco's cloud collaboration architecture ensures efficient communication and data exchange between users and cloud services? A. Data centers. B. Networking infrastructure. C. Security protocols. D. Scalability mechanisms. The correct answer is B. Networking infrastructure. Explanation. Networking infrastructure in Cisco's cloud collaboration architecture ensures efficient communication and data exchange between users and cloud services. This infrastructure comprises routers, switches, firewalls, and other networking devices that facilitate connectivity, bandwidth management, and quality of service COS, for cloud-based collaboration applications. Question 10. A company recently migrated its collaboration tools to Cisco Collaboration SaaS. Users are reporting intermittent issues with voice and video calls, including poor call quality and dropped connections. Which of the following steps should the administrator take to troubleshoot this issue? A. Check network bandwidth utilization. B. Verify DNS resolution for SaaS endpoints. C. Monitor CPU and memory usage on collaboration servers. D. Review quality of service, COS. Configurations on Network Devices The correct answer is A. Check Network Bandwidth Utilization Explanation Intermittent issues with voice and video calls in Cisco Collaboration SaaS implementations can often be attributed to network bandwidth constraints. Checking network bandwidth utilization helps identify congestion points and bottlenecks that may impact call quality and stability. Question 11. A user reports being unable to access Cisco WebEx meetings through the SaaS platform. Which of the following could be a potential cause of this issue? A. Incorrect DNS settings on the user's device. B. Outdated browser version. C. Exceeded user license limit for WebEx meetings. D. Network firewall blocking WebEx traffic. The correct answer is D. Network firewall blocking WebEx traffic. Explanation. Inability to access Cisco WebEx meetings through the SaaS platform could be caused by a network firewall blocking WebEx traffic. Firewalls may restrict access to specific ports or protocols required for WebEx meetings, resulting in connectivity issues for users. Administrators should ensure that network firewalls are properly configured to allow WebEx traffic, enabling users to access collaboration services without interruption. Question 12. What is a future trend in Cisco Collaboration SaaS offerings that is likely to impact the industry significantly? 
A. Integration of artificial intelligence, I, for advanced analytics. B. Expansion of traditional on-premises solutions. C. Adoption of legacy communication protocols. D. Reduction in cloud security measures. The correct answer is A. Integration of artificial intelligence, I, for advanced analytics. A significant future trend in Cisco collaboration SaaS offerings is the integration of artificial intelligence, I, for advanced analytics. AI technologies, such as machine learning and natural language processing, are increasingly being incorporated into collaboration tools to enhance user experiences, automate repetitive tasks, and provide insights based on data analysis. Question 13. During a Cisco Jabber chat session, a user encounters delays in message delivery and notices that messages are not being received in real time. Which of the following actions should the administrator take to troubleshoot this issue? A. Check the present status of the chat participants. B. Verify network connectivity to the Jabber server. C. Restart the Jabber client application. D. Review server side message queuing configurations. The correct answer is B. Verify network connectivity to the Jabber server. Explanation. Delays in message delivery and real-time communication issues in Cisco Jabber chat sessions can often be attributed to network connectivity issues between the client device and the Jabber server. Verifying network connectivity to the Jabber server helps identify potential network-related issues such as packet loss or latency that may impact chat performance. Question 14. Which of the following technologies is expected to play a significant role in shaping the future of Cisco collaboration SaaS offerings? A. Blockchain. B. Virtual reality, VR. C. Quantum computing. D. Internet of Things. IOT. The correct answer is D. Internet of Things, IOT. The Internet of Things, IOT, is expected to play a significant role in shaping the future of Cisco collaboration SaaS offerings. IOT technologies enable the interconnection of devices and sensors, allowing for real time data exchange and automation of various tasks. In the context of collaboration, IoT integration can enhance workplace efficiency by enabling smart meeting rooms, intelligent scheduling based on occupancy sensors, and seamless communication between IoT-enabled devices and collaboration platforms. Question 15. Ms. Garcia, an IT manager, is exploring future developments in Cisco collaboration SaaS offerings for her organization. She wants to ensure that the chosen solution aligns with emerging industry trends. Which of the following trends should Ms. Garcia consider as a priority for her organization's collaboration strategy? A. Increased focus on email communication. B. Emphasis on seamless integration with third-party applications. C. Reliance on traditional telephone systems. D. Limiting accessibility to collaboration tools. The correct answer is B. Emphasis on seamless integration with third-party applications. An essential future trend to consider for Cisco collaboration SaaS offerings is the emphasis on seamless integration with third-party applications. As organizations adopt a diverse range of software tools for various business functions, the ability to integrate collaboration solutions with existing applications becomes crucial for enhancing workflow efficiency and productivity. Question 16. A user reports being unable to access voicemail messages in Cisco Unity Connection through the SaaS platform. Which of the following could be a potential cause of this issue? A. Incorrect voicemail PIN entered by the user. B. Exceeded voicemail storage quota for the user account. C. Network latency between the user's device and Unity Connection server. D. Misconfigured voicemail notification settings in the user profile. The correct answer is C. Network latency between the user's device and Unity Connection Server. Explanation. Inability to access voicemail messages in Cisco Unity Connection through the SaaS platform may be caused by network latency between the user's device and the Unity Connection Server. 
High latency can result in slow response times and timeout errors when accessing voicemail services. Question 17. In the context of future developments in Cisco collaboration SaaS offerings, what is the significance of interoperability with other collaboration platforms? A. It promotes vendor lock-in and limits flexibility. B. It ensures seamless communication and workflow integration. C. It increases complexity and maintenance overhead. D. It reduces the need for security measures and compliance standards. The correct answer is B. It ensures seamless communication and workflow integration. Interoperability with other collaboration platforms is significant for future developments in Cisco collaboration SaaS offerings as it ensures seamless communication and workflow integration. In today's interconnected business environment, organizations often use multiple collaboration tools from different vendors to meet diverse communication needs. Question 18. Which of the following actions can help optimize network performance for Cisco Unified Communications Manager, CUCM, in a SaaS deployment? A. Increasing the size of voice packet payloads. B. Disabling call admission control. C. Implementing call queuing for inbound calls. D. Enabling media resource allocation control. The correct answer is D enabling media resource allocation control. Explanation. Enabling media resource allocation control in Cisco Unified Communications Manager, CUCM, optimizes network performance by efficiently managing the allocation of media resources such as conference bridges and transcoders. This feature ensures that media resources are allocated only when necessary, preventing resource contention and conserving bandwidth. Question 19. Which of the following factors is driving the adoption of Cisco collaboration SaaS offerings in organizations? A. Increased reliance on legacy communication systems. B. Growing demand for centralized control and management. C. Preference for on-premises deployment models. D. Limited scalability and flexibility of cloud-based solutions. The correct answer is B growing demand for centralized control and management the growing demand for centralized control and management is a significant factor driving the adoption of cisco collaboration SaaS offerings in organizations as businesses seek to streamline collaboration processes enhance security and simplify management cloud-based collaboration solutions offer centralized control over communication tools user access and administrative functions question 20 a company is experiencing performance issues with Cisco Jabber chat sessions. Which of the following steps can help improve Jabber performance? A. Enabling persistent chat history for all users. B. Increasing the frequency of message synchronization. C. Disabling file transfer capabilities. D. Implementing network bandwidth throttling for Jabber traffic. The correct answer is C, disabling file transfer capabilities. Explanation. Disabling file transfer capabilities in Cisco Jabber helps improve performance by reducing the overhead associated with transferring large files over the network. File transfers consume network bandwidth and may impact the responsiveness of Jabber chat sessions, especially in bandwidth-constrained environments. Question 21. A company is experiencing latency issues in its Cisco WebEx meetings sessions. Which of the following strategies can help reduce latency and improve performance? A. Increasing the number of participants in each meeting. B. Deploying WebEx meeting servers in multiple geographic regions. C. Enabling echo cancellation on participant devices. D. Decreasing the duration of each meeting session. The correct answer is B. Deploying WebEx meeting servers in multiple geographic regions. Explanation. Deploying WebEx meeting servers in multiple geographic regions helps reduce latency by minimizing the distance between meeting participants and the closest server. This distributed architecture ensures that participants connect to the nearest server, reducing the time it takes for data packets to travel between endpoints. Question 22. 
Which of the following measures can help optimize performance for Cisco Unity Connection voicemail services in a SaaS deployment? A. Increasing the maximum voicemail storage quota for users. B. Enabling voicemail transcription for all voicemail messages. C. Configuring message aging policies to automatically delete old voicemail messages. D. Disabling email notifications for new voicemail messages. The correct answer is C. Configuring message aging policies to automatically delete old voicemail messages. Explanation. Configuring message aging policies to automatically delete old voicemail messages helps optimize performance for Cisco Unity Connection voicemail services by managing storage resources more efficiently. Storing a large number of voicemail messages can consume disk space and impact system performance. Question 23. Which security measure is essential for protecting data in transit in Cisco Collaboration SaaS deployments? A. Transport Layer Security, TLS, Encryption. B. Network Address Translation, NAT. C. Simple Network Management Protocol, SNMP, Monitoring. D. Domain Name System Security Extensions, DNSSEC. The correct answer is A. Transport Layer Security, TLS, Encryption. In Cisco Collaboration SaaS deployments, protecting data in transit is crucial for maintaining confidentiality and integrity. Transport Layer Security, TLS, encryption ensures secure communication channels between users and SaaS applications by encrypting data packets during transmission. TLS encryption mitigates the risk of interception and eavesdropping, safeguarding sensitive information exchanged within collaboration platforms. Question 24. A company wants to integrate Cisco Collaboration SaaS with its existing Customer Relationship Management CRM, system to improve collaboration and productivity. Which of the following integration approaches allows for real-time data synchronization between Cisco Collaboration SaaS and the CRM system? A. Batch Data Synchronization B. Point-to-Point -point Integration C. Middleware-Based Integration D. File-based integration. The correct answer is C. Middleware-based integration. Explanation. Middleware-based integration allows for real-time data synchronization between Cisco Collaboration SaaS and existing CRM systems by serving as an intermediary layer between the two environments. Middleware platforms facilitate seamless communication and data exchange enabling real-time updates and synchronization of information between Cisco Collaboration SaaS applications and CRM systems. Question 25. What is a key advantage of implementing Cisco WebEx as a collaboration SaaS solution? A. Enhanced network performance. B. Simplified collaboration across devices and platforms. C. Increased server maintenance overhead. D. Higher bandwidth requirements. The correct answer is B. Simplified collaboration across devices and platforms. A key advantage of implementing Cisco WebEx as a collaboration SaaS solution is simplified collaboration across devices and platforms. WebEx provides a unified communication and collaboration platform that enables users to conduct meetings, share files, and communicate seamlessly regardless of their location or device. With WebEx, Users can collaborate in real-time through video conferencing, messaging, and file sharing, enhancing productivity and efficiency in the workplace. Question 26. A company wants to integrate Cisco Collaboration SaaS with its existing document management system to enable document sharing and collaboration. Which of the following authentication mechanisms should the organization implement to ensure secure access to documents stored in the document management system? A. LDAP. Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, Authentication B. OAuth, Open Authorization, Authentication C. Radius, Remote Authentication Dial in User Service, Authentication D. SAML, Security Assertion Markup Language, Authentication The correct answer is D. SAML, 
Security Assertion Markup Language, Authentication. Explanation. SAML. Security Assertion Markup Language, Authentication should be implemented to ensure secure access to documents stored in the Document Management System when integrating with Cisco Collaboration SaaS. SAML enables single sign-on, SSO, authentication, allowing users to securely access documents using their existing credentials from the Cisco Collaboration SaaS environment. Question 27. In a Cisco WebEx deployment, what role does the WebEx Control Hub play? A. Managing physical server hardware. B. Configuring network switches and routers. C. Monitoring and managing WebEx services and users. D. Providing cloud-based storage for user data. The correct answer is C. Monitoring and managing WebEx services and users. In a Cisco WebEx deployment, the WebEx Control Hub plays a crucial role in monitoring and managing WebEx services and users. The Control Hub provides administrators with centralized visibility and control over their WebEx environment, allowing them to configure settings, monitor usage, troubleshoot issues, and manage user accounts and permissions. Question 28. An organization is planning to integrate Cisco Collaboration SaaS with its existing video conferencing infrastructure to extend collaboration capabilities. Which of the following standards should the organization consider to ensure interoperability between Cisco Collaboration SaaS and its video conferencing endpoints? A. H323 B. SIP Session Initiation Protocol C. RTP Real-Time Transport Protocol D. RTSP Real-Time Streaming Protocol The correct answer is B. SIP, Session Initiation Protocol. Explanation. SIP, Session Initiation Protocol, is a widely adopted standard for integrating video conferencing infrastructure with Cisco Collaboration SaaS to ensure interoperability. SIP enables communication between different vendors' video conferencing endpoints, facilitating seamless connectivity and collaboration. Question 29. Mr. Davis, an IT administrator, is tasked with integrating Cisco WebEx with the organization's existing identity management system. Which technology should Mr. Davis prioritize for seamless user authentication and access control? A. Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, LDAP. B. Border Gateway Protocol, BGP. C. Virtual Local Area Network, VLAN. D. Session Initiation Protocol, SIP. The correct answer is A, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, LDAP. To achieve seamless user authentication and access control in Cisco WebEx deployments, Mr. Davis should prioritize integrating WebEx with the organization's Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, LDAP, system. LDAP integration enables WebEx to synchronize user accounts, groups, and authentication credentials with the organization's existing directory service, such as Microsoft Active Directory or OpenLDAP. Question 30. What security measure should be implemented to protect sensitive data shared during Cisco WebEx meetings? A. Endpoint antivirus software. B. Secure socket layer, SSL, encryption. C. Multi-factor authentication, MFA. D. End-to-end -end encryption, E2EE. -E. The correct answer is D. End-to-end -end encryption, E2EE. -E. To protect sensitive data shared during Cisco WebEx meetings, end-to-end -end encryption, E2EE, -E, should be implemented. E2EE -E ensures that data transmitted between meeting participants remains encrypted from end to end, preventing unauthorized access or interception by third parties. With E2EE, -E, only authorized participants with decryption keys can access the plaintext data, maintaining confidentiality and integrity throughout the meeting session. 